There are a huge number of procedures that we can perform to change the position or the shape of the mandible. One of the main procedures is the sagittal split osteotomy of the mandible, the bilateral sagittal split, which basically allows me to move the mandible forward, backward, up or down, or even rotate it. And it is performed through small incisions in the back of the mandible, precisely behind the last molars. Uh, this osteotomy basically allows us to reposition the mandible in the best possible place. There are other type of osteotomies like genioplasty, which pretty much uh, allow me to move the chin or reposition the chin three-dimensionally in the ideal position. So it is not like a chin implant in which just basically one dim dimension can be changed. With a chin osteotomy, we can three-dimensionally modify the shape of the anterior part of the mandible. And that's great because we can treat asymmetries, we can treat excessive uh, chin, we can treat defective chin, and we can basically do whatever we want with the shape and position of the chin. Uh, genioplasty or chin surgery, when done as an isolated procedure, can be done, or we do it under local anesthesia and sedation, through a very small incision in the back of the lower lip, we gain access to the bone and then with a thin saw we make a small cut in the bone which allows me to reposition the bone uh, to the appropriate position and then I just need to fix it with a plate and small screws. And of course this surgery is pre-planned three-dimensionally with our 3D planning software. So before going to the operating room I know exactly the cuts that I'm going to perform in the bone and the position in which I will replace the bone during the surgery. Typical surgery uh, or typical surgical time for the genioplasty is uh, 20 minutes from incision to the last stitch. So it's a pretty straightforward procedure, provided that we have done the planning beforehand.